Hello and welcome to Tushka Training. Today we're going to be working in Virtual DJ8 and we're going to be looking at how to use VST plugins. Uh, some people can't work out how to US use VST plugins, so first we'll cover that. Then specifically we're going to show you how to use VST uh sequences and when you use a sequencer inside virtual dj8 you can actually find that it works like any other song so you can push it you can drag it you can pitch it you can sync it you can scratch it uh, i haven't fully tested the scratching yet um but it seems to work um and obviously you'll have final control as well uh, in our case today specifically we're going to be using machine 2 um which for me has been an absolutely uh, brilliant thing um i can use machine 2 and i can just treat it as a turntable um, which is absolutely amazing for me. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to put a VST plugin directly into Virtual DJ. So what you have to do is you have to locate your sound effect plugin folder for Virtual DJ. Now on Windows, on Windows 8 specifically here, um, it's Libraries, Documents, Virtual DJ, Plugins, Sound Effect, and you put your um, your VST plugins in here that you want to use. Uh, now, I only use X64 plugins normally uh, when I'm using my um, door software, which is Reaper. Um, but in this case, I've uh, used the X32 plugins because Virtual DJ is only X32 at the moment. So I've put uh, Machine 2 Effects and Machine 2 inside this folder. Next thing you do is you load up Virtual DJ. Now, because you've put those effects into that folder, you'll find that when you click on this arrow here, they will actually be inside Virtual DJ like so. Now, when I load uh, Machine 2 Effects, for instance like uh, this. It takes a little while to load, as does machine or anything else. Um, now, if I press play on this deck, even though there's no song loaded, um, what will happen is, because it always expects this to be a, an effect and not actually an instrument, it's always going to load uh, the last song that you actually had playing. So if I hit play, uh, straight away you can hear the last song that I had playing. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll click on this to actually turn machine on. Now when I press play, you'll actually find that there's no sound whatsoever. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up machine by pressing that plus button there. Now, one of the first things I want to say to you is do not use this uh, little X here to close the UI. There's currently a bug in Virtual DJ, and when you use this X, the UI will close, but you will never be able to open it again until you reload the plugin. So it's better to actually just open and shut it using this button, and it works fine. So what we'll do is we're going to bring in uh, any, any song. It doesn't really matter what it is. That there is actually the position of the deck, and that's what's making the sound. So if we um, if we press stop twice to bring it back to the start, you can hear it's not playing playing any sound anymore. So now when I press play, there you go. You've actually got your song that's uh, in machine. Now uh, you'll notice there was the gap, but you can actually cue that. So you can find the start of your song and hit cue if you want to cue it up. Uh, you can play the song. Pitch down, you can pitch up, you can sync it to the other deck, you can scratch, you can pitch bend up and down for your push and drag, uh, basically anything you can do with any other song. And again, you can uh, load another instance over here and mix them together using the crossfader and your pitches, your sync, your push and drag. You can put vinyl control on and use your vinyl. Uh, the reason I'm not going to go into it too heavily is because to record these streams, I can't actually use a proper audio driver. So my latency is quite high um, because I'm having to record two streams at once, obviously the mic and the separate application as well. Um, but that is how you get VST plugins working. That's how you actually load in a sequencer and... Uh, as you can see, it works perfectly um, to play any songs. There's a completely different song. So yes, it does work. It works great. Uh, it's It's been a, a proper game changer for me for the last few days. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you on the next one.